That would be a good idea. Put the people that have played the least amount of time all on the Post. same team versus the guys with four on team. Oh my god, oh. this this is gonna be embarrassing. Oh, oh my god. Oh god. So I uh, couldn't have put it better myself. That was a pretty good uh, pretext or <laughs> good foresight into how this game was going to go down. We were pretty much in the easiest lobby of all time. The other team was like <laughs> absolutely terrible. All greenies for the most part. And uh, what, my, what my Irish friend Dathy Denogla was saying there is these two guys joined in into the, into the biggest magic lobby of all time. And both of these guys recognized me in the lobby, which is pretty cool. It doesn't happen that often. And... Uh, so they recognized me, but <laughs> so we're like, damn! Both these guys are both both very strong players, and they came in. And we were like, damn! You know, this lobby's ruined. You know, these two, three, four KD players are going to be on the other team, and this lobby's not going to be nearly as good. But of course, Call of Duty and its great balanced matchmaking decides to put the two other very strong players. Like, look at this one guy. This one guy, Legend of Pain, uh, who's one of the people I'm talking. I've got a Blackbird in like six or seven points into the game or something ridiculous. But anyway, Black Ops Legendary Matchmaking decided to put them on our team, so we're not in a party with them, but it might as well be a, a full and strong party because, you know, I think we have like... F I was playing with two or three other people at the time, plus these two guys. I mean, it was just destruction. It wasn't even fair. These kids are the kind of guys that are so bad at the game, they don't even know to back out when they're when they're getting spanked. Look at this. It doesn't even turn around. You'll see some moments in this where you just really have to face palm. Like, these these kids must not have thumbs to be as bad as they are. Anyway, not enough about the gameplay. I just wanted to thank you guys about the Ignorance Bliss video. Um, I'm assuming you guys want to see some more stuff like that in the future, and I have no problem in doing that. And a lot of people thought that I, you know, wrote, wrote a whole script for that, like I was reading word for word. And no, I wasn't reading it word for word. Uh, I was just doing it more formally, like I would if I was doing a speech, uh, which, I, which I do do from time to time. I actually enjoy public speaking. I know it's kind of weird. A lot of people are get intimidated and scared by it. I actually heard somewhere that <laughs> the more people are scared of, of public speaking than they are of dying, which I kind of find ridiculous. I mean, I guess if you account the uh, the assumption of going to heaven, which I sure as hell hope happens, then that, that accounts for a large part, portion of that. But I actually enjoy public speaking. And, you know, obviously, most of my commentaries, I just you know, go on the fly, speak it, like this one right here, I'm just speaking off the top of my head. That one I had a few notes down in front of me, like I would if I was doing a speech. I wasn't reading it word for word because I kind of find that to be boring, especially when someone is, you know, doing a public speech and they're just staring down at a piece of paper the whole time. It's just not very, not very convincing. But no, I had a few notes in front of me, and uh, you guys can look forward to some more of that in the future. If you guys want to suggest some topics, I'm an extremely opinionated person, and I'm more than willing to give off my opinion. Give off my opinion. I'm <laughs> sorry. I am more than willing to uh, give my opinion on, you know, whatever comes up. Uh, speaking of which, another very opinionated commentator. Commentator. <laughs> oh, this started off so well, too. Commentator, Wings of Redemption, recently posted a video saying that he'd do a dual com tomorrow with whoever got the most thumbs up in the, in the comments. And, you know, I'm not the, the guy who's going to say, pick me, pick me in the, in the comments and hope that I get thumbs up. But I mean, if one of you guys want to go leave a comment saying you should do it with Big Busy, I mean, I'd be more than happy to because he's more than one of my, he's more than one, he's one of my favorite commentators, uh, just for the simple fact that he, you know, he is opinionated and an interesting person, and he's not really scared to uh, to give his opinion on stuff, which I think I, you know, I think is really awesome. You know, a lot of these people in this community, you can tell that YouTube has changed them, like like it, like the fame of being big on YouTube is actually significant at all in life. And I think that's pretty pathetic, if you ask me. Wings of Redemption, you know, you can tell that he's he hasn't changed a whole lot. I can picture him being, you know, the uh, the very sharp, you know, outspoken person that he is on YouTube and in real life, even before he was on YouTube. Uh, that's just my opinion on him. You know, you don't have to share that. It's uh, I don't watch a whole lot of YouTube videos, but uh, to be perfectly honest, besides my friends on YouTube, I pretty much only watch him and Blame Truth. Uh, that's about it. Uh, anyway. Moving on, I, something pretty funny came up. I was on Facebook the other day, and my friend, uh, my friend, I'm not sure how he got it. I'm pretty sure he, uh, another friend of his who's a hacker or something hacked into the Westboro Baptist. <laughs> I can't even see this is a straight face. The Westboro Baptist Church's uh, database and got all of their personal phone numbers. And if you guys don't know who the Westboro Baptist Church is, they're one of the most evil organizations in America. Uh, I guess it extends to Canada to some extent, but. 
I don't mean evil and that they're actually really doing a whole lot. I just mean evil and that, you know, they're they're just they have enough they have no good intentions whatsoever. I mean, if if it's any any indication that I'm pretty sure the name of their website is godhatesfags.com, uh which is just ridiculous. These people are extremely immature and just pathetic wastes of time. I mean if that's your opinion on, on homosexual people, then don't tell anyone. It shouldn't be in the first place because it's just pure ignorance. But, you know, it's just, I don't know. I don't want to get into it. It's very stupid. Anyway, I'm going to leave their uh, their phone numbers in the description. I'm pretty sure this is illegal, but I don't really care because they deserve it. So if you guys have free long-distance calling, by all means, troll away, my friends. Troll away. They deserve it. Uh, should be pretty funny. But... <laughs> I don't even know. I don't know if I should do that. That's pretty pretty rude of me. Who who gives a shit? These people are more rude than anyone anyone else out there. I don't know. But uh, yeah, look look forward to some more of those ignorance is bliss videos. Uh, I didn't even know that was my hundredth video, by the way. I <laughs> saw it in the comments. I was like, what? Oh yeah, it is my hundredth video. And I mean, you know, the reason why I didn't do something special for it is because it's more like my hundred and fifteenth video. You know, back in the day, I used to uh, start a lot of my videos with music, and I had to private all of them when I was getting partnered with, with Machinima, which should be happening some at some point today, which is friggin' awesome. But, uh, yeah, I had to private a whole bunch of videos. It's more like 115. But, you know, if you guys want to see a setup video, uh, let me know in the comments. I can definitely do that. See the, my giant mess of wires beside my, my computer and my monitor that I can't record live with. It's up to you. I don't really care. I have a camera. It's all, all good to go. Uh, it's not like it's going to take me very much time. But yeah, I guess that's it. Uh, I mean, I would have done something special for my 100th video, but yeah, whatever. 108 for 6. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.